What's up there? This is Mr. Mike Kaufman. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create narrated uh, Google Slides presentations using the Chrome extension Screencastify. All right, let's get started. Do is you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. You can do that simply by searching Chrome Web Store and then clicking on the link. And from there, we want to search extensions and we want to search for Screencastify. All right, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add to Chrome. All right, so after you click Add to Chrome, it's going to ask permission to add Screencastify, and you want to click Add Extension. From here, it'll take a second to add. Once it's added, you will see the Screencastify icon show up in your Chrome extensions bar. And then what you want to do for the first time is you want to click on it, so that way you can connect your ASFG uh, Google account to Screencastify. Step one, I'm going to sign in with Google choose my account. I want to give it permission. Screencastify is a trusted uh, resource. It is used by hundreds of thousands of people with good reviews. So this is something that you can trust and allow them permission to um, access Google Drive. Step two, it's going to ask for permission to access your camera microphone as well as give you uh, the ability to draw and annotate. I'm going to click allow and allow. And then finally, it's going to ask you who you are, and in this case, you're a student, so you want to choose student, and then your age, which is 13 or older. They have a short video that shows you how to use it. You can choose to watch it or continue just watching this video to get started. I'm going to close out this tab, as well as this one. All right, now that I'm in my presentation, I'm going to go back to the Screencastify icon up in my extension bar. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to take a look here at the default settings, which are actually the ones that I want. In this case, I do want to record my desktop, what's being shown on my screen. And I just want my microphone and not my embedded webcam because I do not want a video of myself. In future, if you want to use your webcam, you certainly can just by clicking on it to then select it. If you are using an external USB microphone, you want to make sure that you choose the correct one. Um, in this case, I do have an external mic right there, so that would be the one that I'd want to use to record with. Now when I'm done, I'm going to click record. It's going to ask me what screen I want to do. In this case, my entire screen. So I'm going to click and click share. Three, it's going two, to count me in. One. I'm going to click present. At this point, I'm going to begin saying what it is that I want to say. I'm going to introduce my slide, read my script, whatever it is. I can simply use the arrow keys on my keyboard to chain to transition from one slide to the next, continue presenting, continue presenting, and then when I'm done, I'm going to click stop sharing. All right, when I'm done recording, it is going to open up the video in a separate tab. I can watch the video. At this point, I'm going to begin saying what it is that I want to say. I'm going to introduce my slide, read my script, whatever it is. I can simply use the arrow keys on my keyboard to... All right. Once I'm satisfied with my video, I have a couple options of how I would like to share it. Um, one along the right side, notice that it's already uploaded to Google Drive. I can copy this link directly from this screen and then turn that link into Classroom or share it with someone else. I can also view it on Drive. Now notice right now my video is still processing. Uh, Google Drive tends to be quite slow when uploading video. However, this will continue processing um, even if you are not uh, on this tab, so be certain that eventually the video will pop up there. The other options you can come up top and where it click share. You can share it on YouTube or Google Drive. There's the link. I can turn it directly into Classroom as well as change some of the basic privacy settings from there. What's nice then is if I want to embed this video into a Google Slides presentation, for example, I can click insert, video, go to Google Drive, and there it is automatically, right? So it makes sharing this video quite easy and fast. Click select, resize and center it. And note, it's still blank right now because it is still processing. However, as soon as it's done, the video will be ready to go. All right, that's it. That's your how-to on how to use Screencastify to create a narrated uh, slides presentation and then how to share that presentation out. Good luck.